mess. GTI parts are here. Some. Not all. Most. No. Missing a lot. But we'll be working on timing belt. It's a Gates. It's a kit. You know. It's like this thing was like $35. Okay. $35. I couldn't say no to it. And it's Gates. You know. From Rock Auto. Um, and I also got all my uh, little clipper doodles. No, that's not a clipper. Yeah, well, technically it is a clipper doodle that clips on the seat rail so that your seats are nice and sturdy so they, they don't rock back and forth. <laughs> okay. I got four of them because it's two per seat. So we're going to put those on right now. And that also right now. Because that timing belt that it has, we changed it a long time ago, like seven or eight years. And my son beat the living crap out of it. So let's just time to change that out. And I know we didn't change that out. So, you know, just might as well get maintenance. So we're going to do that on the GTI right now. And here we are. I just used the rain to my advantage. Went ahead and dried it out with the chamois and it just turned out beautiful again. Um, engine's really dusty because it's been sitting here for what? Like three years? Because since the accident? Okay, so... Um, but she still looks pretty good. I mean, I just need to put the battery back on. But I noticed that the shifter... It's got a short shift link. See this right here? Specifically that. Okay, it's just missing the bushing right there. So I have some slop on the extra slop on the on the gear shifter. Luckily, that's just the the one when you go forward and back. Okay, so it's not that noticeable. But if it was the one that goes to side to side, you know, to select the gear, okay, that would be like grinding gears. So a long time ago, we ordered a whole kit to rebuild that whole mechanism, but we never used everything. So it just turns out that I do have the bushing, which is that one right there. This is a special kit to rebuild the whole shifting mechanism. And so this, this is part of this. And I actually have the lever and everything, but I didn't want to use the original lever, the, the lever that came with this kit because the plastic that sits in the middle of the little cup is actually smaller, so it would have been looser. So we just kept the original one since it was just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that bushing on the transmission selector uh, thing. So we're just gonna remove the retaining pin. So let me bring it back over here. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. I'd say this pretty much had it. She's broken and all that good stuff. So what I've noticed is that I have several rubber ones. These are like rubberish. Rubberish. Okay. They're identical to this that I just we just removed. And I have this hard plastic one. I'm thinking hard plastic one. I'm going to put there. This is for some other locations that I actually need to put this on. Because it's missing. Uh, yeah. It's, it's an old car. Whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and install this one. Let me see if I can do it with my hand. Uh, yeah. That wasn't that hard. So we'll just put this back in through there, like so. And, where's the pin? The pin is right here. There it is. I just gotta push, push it in. That's it. There we go. So, it should function now perfectly. No more slack there. All right, cool. Okay, uh, there's, a, there's one that's missing down here. That's the one I'm talking about that I need to get in there. Here. It's right here. This is where it doesn't have that little plastic. So this thing is like, um, not optimal. Let's just say. See? See? It needs to have a bushing in there. And that is for selecting the gear. So, I might get to it maybe. And eh, not really having any problems selecting gears, but it is nicer if the slop is gone. And that would be this one that goes there. This little. Take the slack. Because it's completely gone. It's not there anymore. So. Uh, I'll do that some other time. C battery is back on. 
Let's see if um, it's getting kind of windy. See if uh, this thing will start. Oh, car needs to be cleaned. I know, but um, we're gonna do that when we take out the seats. Okay. I don't think it's gonna start, but ah, battery's too loose. I need to tighten up the terminals. Interesting. This is uh this battery I was running in my bug, and um, it's got a green green thing. See, this thing is green. But look at the voltage, and I'm like tw ten volts. Um, I want to check the other batteries, and they're fine. They're 1250, 1260. So this, this battery took a shit when I was running it in my bug. And I didn't even know. Okay, the third battery came from... Oh, you can't see that because of the reflection. Never mind, who cares? Oh. Oh. It's a thousand cranky knives. Um, I'm going to need both hands for this. Okay, she's in. I went ahead and finger tightened the that thing. It's just finger tight. It's just for moving here. We're not going to go on the road. So let's see if it starts now. Come on, fire up! Oh yeah, see, got all my lights. Now because this is a sys system, you have to bleed the air out of the injectors, and you do that by turning the key. Oh, I heard the pump slow down actually. The first time I just went Bzzz! right, and then it, the second time I did this. It, that's pressurizing the whole uh, sys uh, injection system. Not only that, every time you cycle the key, the uh, cold injector actually sprays a little uh, fuel into the manifold so that it starts. I gotta make sure I'm in neutral. Okay, there she goes. She almost started. Ah, smooth as a baby's bottom. All right, I'm just gonna drive it in. I need to move it inward that way. So we have plenty of room to open the doors. So, we're going to change the timing belt. Oh, that's going to be fun. That is going to be fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and loosen the the alternator. This one only has an alternator. The AC pump, the brackets, all of the AC pumps, somebody took it off so that they could run a turbo on here. And right now we don't care about the turbo because we don't have a turbo. And it's all smog legal right now. So it needs to stay smog legal because I need to smog it to get my my tags but um this could turn into a turbo again i mean i have everything to turn it into a turbo it's just it's a hassle every two years so i don't want to deal with it plus i don't want to go illegal you know getting somebody just to smog it illegally i just, just it's not me all right so i'm gonna go ahead and actually loosen that take that shit off and take off the pulley from the water pump the pulley which is way down there take off that water pump is actually fairly new so i'm not going to change it um we're good we'll get to that stuff i'm going to have to remove all of this stuff right here just so we have easy access so. okay so it just takes a half back here i might have to loosen the bottom bolt though most likely. Most likely. Okay, it's deep enough to loosen everything. Let me see if I can. No, I'm gonna have to loosen the bottom one. Ow! Okay, I put a lot of power into that and it did not want to budge. So we're going to have to do it the hard way or the stubborn way. Let's try that again. I got to... Oh, I 
Goodness gracious, that was tight. Okay, yeah, I saw it move. Yeah, I just used one of these, you know, did that to my socket uh, wrench. Okay, I saw I saw it just drop. See, Woo, now it moves freely. Ta-da! Let me inspect this. Ah, uh, you know what? It needs a new V belt. This one's dry, dry rotted. Okay, good thing we're uh, inspecting everything because I want this to be a daily driver. I don't want to break down anywhere. So I want to make sure that I can go to L.A., San Francisco, Santa Cruz, you know, the nice parts of California. <laughs> Not Bakersfield. No, it's actually really nice here. I'm just joking. Anyways, uh, moving on. I'm going to go ahead and remove the pulley. So it's much easier to just take the wheel off because I'll be working right there, you know, in that wheel wheel area. So take it off if you're going to be working on your water pump or uh, timing belt. So we're going to go ahead and remove it. <laughs> See, <laughs> this one still has the, the tag. This is a brand new tire. Still has the, the tag. All right, so we're going to go ahead now and remove the pulleys. So I need some Allen wrenches. I just need to take this one, this one, this one, this one off. And I believe it'll come off without taking the middle bolt. I do not recall if that's true. Same thing with the water pump pulley. Just take those off and that's it. Well, let's find out if that theory is true. Let's see if we can do this. It's a six millimeter Allen wrench. Oh yeah, that works. You know what? I fucked up. I need to clock my 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 engine first. I need to clock it first. These marks right here, that one and that one. Okay, one of them's uh, dead top center. The other ones when I was com uh, when I was uh, clocking the turbo uh, ECU, I needed to clock it at like seventy or sixty or something like that <sighs> of dead top center. Kind of like the CB performance. How oh, I need to move those timing marks upward. Okay, so I found the real timing marks. They're still on the pulley and on the on the timing belt cover. <laughs> Looks like that's it. Let me double check on the top and see if we'd, uh, we're there. Okay, so I know it's really hard to tell, but there's a timing mark right there. It's an indentation on the gear, and it's aligned perfectly to that right there. Also, down here, there is a timing mark. I'm not going to be able to show you because there's just no room, but here, that hole right there, okay, the, the, the flywheel actually has a mark that aligns to a pointing thing on the edge of the transmission. So they're all aligned. We're good. Perfectly aligned. Now we can take the, the other Allen bolt off. There we go. <laughs> What the fuck? How did I do that? I don't know. I somehow switched it to a uh, Titan. <coughs> At least I didn't break the bolt. <coughs> Man. All right, so now we can take the timing cover off. There's a couple of 10 millimeter bolts here. Somewhere around there is, and uh, we'll take this cover off. This is like a bad idea. <coughs> or not. Let me see if I can get this one on top. Up here. <coughs> no. 
This thing is too... It's hitting me uh, here. Can't do it! Can do it, pig! So I'm gonna have to do it manually. Perfect. All right, now we can loosen in the tensioner and we can remove the timing belt. Woohoo! See, it's not that difficult. Okay, so we're loosening. Oops, I'm trying to not block the camera. Okay, she's a little tight. There we go. Okay, loosening the pulley, the uh, idle pulley for the timing belt. Remember, don't do this unless you're sure you're aligned, okay? I actually made a mark right there with a little white or nail uh, uh, paint. <laughs> nail color. My wife, uh, yeah, I rated her thing. So, yeah, it's aligned. So, so I'm gonna push it down so that the slack increases and we're gonna slide it off. Okay, this one has a, a third pulley right there. One of these, third pulley, and that's a shaft that goes an intermediate shaft that goes inside the block all the way over there. So, if you had a distributor right there, you know, the A valve MK2s and MK1s, they had the distributor on the block. That shaft would be related to that. Now, you would have to actually time that also, otherwise, you go out of timing on your distributor. On, you know, on your distributor on the, on the block, it's gonna be out of time. But because this particular head, this, you know, uh, dual overhead cam has the timing thing actually connected to the head, right there, the distributor. So if this is aligned, your timing is perfect. Okay, okie doke. So this thing is off, okay. Let's just get it out. See how bad does it look. Actually, it looks pretty good. This one thing, I think it has like maybe 70 or 80,000 miles. Yeah, I'm not seeing any, any kind of damage, like wear. Something that would worry me. Oh, wait a minute, right there. You got some cracking right there. Mm, okay, yeah, it's a good thing. Good thing we're, we're doing this. Okay, let's get the other one and put it on. Okay, let's remove the idler pulley. She's out. Branch bank and new idler pulley. Going back on. Like that. The washer. The nut. I'm just gonna snug it. I'm not gonna tighten it. Okay. Now let's put the timing belt back on. Oh, whoopee. I'm just going to do it like that. Okay, kind of like that. But I need to wrap it around the, the idler pulley. That's always fun. So what we need to do is actually slide it off the cam. I've done these like six times on a GTIs. I just don't remember how I did it. That's all. Okay. Okay, I got both the bottom pulley are done. Okay. Okay, there we go. She's sliding on. It's sliding. All right. Perfect. Make sure that bottom one is in. Is in. Make sure this one is in. It's in. Okay. Okay, timing belt is on. I'm going to check my marks. Okay, like this one is correct. That one's correct. And I'm going to check my flywheel. Make sure it didn't rotate when I was putting on the belt. And it did rotate. Yeah, it did rotate a little bit. So I'm gonna have to go down here and we can rotate the opposite way. Okay, let me check that. I'm looking at the hole that the 
Perfect. The transmission hole with the flywheel. The flywheel has a mark, uh, pink paint that I used a long time ago. And yeah, now it's perfect. Uh, this one's still perfect right here, so we're perfectly aligned. Now I'm gonna go turn this and then tighten it. Um, to do this, you need a special tool, kind of like a grinding wheel uh, 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 tool to remove your wheel. You know, those with two little prickly things that go in there and then you twist it. In. Yeah, like that. But we don't have that. So what I always use is always an Allen wrench. Yeah, an Allen wrench. You'll see what I mean. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to do this. You know, you guys will clearly see how I'm how I'm tightening these. So I just inserted two Allen wrenches about the same size. And I'm just using this as a wedge to spin it. Like yay. And then oops. I'm blocking you guys, aren't I? Yes I am. Yeah, I can't. Unfortunately, you know what? I'm going to be blocking you really, really badly. Oh, there you go. Maybe that will work. Okay, you can use a screwdriver. I'm just being lazy. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just spinning the, the off-center uh, fulcrum point. Okay, that's tight. Check my timing belt. Just need to see if it's tight. Yeah, on this side. Okay. Like I said, I need to check it, twist it. I do the twist. I know more or less when it's tight. That is actually pretty good. Not too tight, not too loose. It's perfect. I got to check the other side, make sure. Here, okay, yeah, that's about right. Perfect. I'm gonna check my timing, but timing marks once more. It should be fine. Yeah, this one's perfect. Check this one over here. Oh yeah, it's perfect. I can see the hole. You guys can't see it because it's just a mess, but I can see it. It's perfect. And now, time to take my my. Ah, it's avena. That's what my wife calls it, avena. I don't know what it's called in English. Anyway, timing belt is on. I'm going to go ahead and snap it all back together. I'm not going to show you that because that's kind of boring. I just want to see if this thing starts and it should start perfectly purring like a kitten. Right? Right. So. Perfect. Perfect. Purse like a kitten. Okay. Just want to make sure. I don't want to put everything back together and then wah, wah, wah. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah, one of those days. So I had to go all over Bakersfield, to uh, all the auto parts store, just to hunt that belt. Yeesh. It took me a couple of hours. But we got it. She's all good. I already started the car. Starts good. We're good. No squealing or anything like that. Okay, so it's been a long time since I've removed my Recaros from my old vehicles that I used to own. Uh, Jettas, GLIs, GTIs, you know. MK2s. They were all MK2s. <clears throat> Well, actually, no, that's not true. I had uh, several MK1s, but whatever. So I already removed the little bolt and, um, what do you call it? This guy. Um, it's just a bolt and an Allen wrench that goes right there. It locks it, so you can't go too far back and go off the rails. Going off the rails, man! So we're going to try to slide it. From what I remember, I did this. This is a long time ago. We're talking... 20 years. No, sorry. 30. 30 years ago. Where's the damn button? Way over there. Okay. Yep. 
works exactly the same. It hasn't changed. Oh, they weigh a ton. They weigh a ton. Oh. oh, they weigh a ton. Oh, that hurt my back. No, it didn't. I'm fine. Okay, so I found some money. Money! Oh, I guess that wasn't plugged in. Mm-hmm. Because that would have ripped it off. And it didn't. Got money for me. Okay, so I'm probably gonna vacuum this thing. Uh, but first, I'm gonna remove the other seat. Let's just get it out of the way. Only with the best music in the background. coming out. It's stuck. This one's really, really stuck. Oh, I know what it is. Floor damage. It bottomed out right there. Pushed it up. Perfect. Got to figure that one out. Yeah, the floor got pushed up. And it's pinching that, that rail area. So I need a... I need a big hammer. My industrial vac kicked the bucket. So now I got the house vacuum. Oh, yeah, so I found a lot of glass underneath the carpet right there. Which means that somebody in the past broke in by breaking that the window on the door. Old, old glass, you could tell. Plus a lot of money underneath the carpet. Now, it's less than a dollar, but it's still a lot of coin. So I'm going to now clean this side, because this side is freaking awesome. You know what I mean? Just over a dollar. <laughs> so if I keep going over there in the back, the back seats, I might find more. Oh, and also I found some missing parts. Because I, I, I kept finding screws, nuts, and shit like that. It turns out it belongs to, this, to the rear seats. Okay, so now the floor is actually straight. It's flat. I just went in there and with my foot, I just went, bam, you know? I just did that with my foot. And uh, right here, I did have to use the sledgehammer in this area right here. Because it was, you know, and that freed this area right here. So it should be able to, you know, slide the seat back on without any trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and put the missing hardware. And then we're going to put the little clipper slider doodles on that, uh, on those seats. Okay, that was a surprise for me. What surprise? This surprise. Look at it. Uh, looks like they were using it as a storage. That's why the screws were missing. So I found all of them though, but um, okay. That makes sense now. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that. I didn't see that coming. I'm going to take that seat out. I need to fix that panel. There's something wrong with it. It's not properly clipped on so we're gonna do that let's see if i can get more light in there yeah there you go see anyways i'm gonna be messing with this so i might be removing this seat see what's going on because i might need the room clipper doodle thing just slides right on till it clips on there you go so all there's to it see so I'm going to replace that one and then the other seat and that's it. We should be able to put these back on and no more uh, dancing inside the cabin with those seats. They're on, both of them. So It's missing a little piece of plastic right there, another slider thing in the bob. It doesn't, it doesn't have it. There's no way to find it. Probably junkier maybe. But you know, this is 33 years old, so finding anything good in the junkyard for this car is almost like asking for a miracle. got like these little plastics that stick out so it makes everything whiter. I gotta trim that a little bit. 
because it, it doesn't want to go in. The original ones didn't have it. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. She's in. Look at Nice and stable. It's all like clank, 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 clank. She's good. Finished. Okay, so this side is also finished. Um, I'm going to put the locking thing on the front and everything's done. This car is drivable again with solid seats, man. Recaro. These are original Recaros. They're in really, really good shape. I mean, they're not even ripped. Okay, so we managed to clean the whole interior. Uh, yeah, I'm like actually shaking in here and I can't move this seat sideways anymore. So we're good. Everything's pretty good now. I need to get one of those glove glove things, the whole thing. If I just go like this, everything just goes to the ground. So I need to go to the junkyard and maybe I'll get lucky. And uh, the whole interior now is clean. I need to do the door panels, remove them and install them correctly. Somebody uh, removed them, that wasn't us. And they're not clipped on correctly from here they're not clipped on see they're actually okay all of that is not clipped on correctly there's something wrong here like it's just not right um it's kind of bulgy right here not right same thing over there it's bulgy right there i need to see what's going on why it's not uh sitting flat it's got really nice stereo though and uh speakers it's got bows those are bows bows they're actually brand new uh, my son installed them. He's got 6 by 9s in the back. Mean old stereo system in the back with a huge speaker box. Several amplifiers. Um, not that they're any good. So we're going to be installing my Terra amp that I removed from my bug. So this thing will be booming. Not that anybody cares. And all I'm looking for is a reliable daily driver. That's all I care about. Um, I do have the, the chrome bar that goes right here from Strut. Strut tower to a strut tower, chrome bar. I have all that stuff. Uh, I just didn't put it on because it used to have a turbo right here. And we were always having trouble with the turbo. And it was always in the way. So we never put it on. But I have that. I might actually put it on since we have no problems anymore. Alright. That is pretty much it, muchachos and muchachas. Um, building a daily driver. To be continued. Adios. Goodbye. Oh, this is interesting. My trailer's getting flipped. Literally flipped. I got some Gibson inside, so they have to, they have to get slid off. Look at those massive hydraulic rams. Look at how that looks. Holy cow.